Hi, my name is Matt Schnabel and I'm with South Carolina Project Learning Tree. I work for the South Carolina Forestry Commission and I teach people about trees. Uh, have you ever been through the woods and wondered, man, that is a really big tree. I wonder if that's a champion. Well, today I'm going to teach you the skills that you can use to get measurements of that tree. And I'm going to be teaching you about uh, how to measure its total height, its circumference, and its crown spread. All these skills are part of the Project Learning Tree activity, How Big Is Your Tree? I'll be teaching you how to do these different things, showing you the materials, but also do some, some really cool math. Okay, so first the materials. These are really simple things that you should probably already have in your classroom. Uh, so first, either a ruler, if you're measuring maybe shorter trees, or uh, a yardstick or a meter stick, uh, if you're measuring taller trees. I, uh, tape measure. A uh, hundred foot tape would be best, but if this is all you have, this will work too, and I'll show you how to, how to use this. And then just a ball of twine. Okay, so the first measurement I'm going to show you how to get off of your tree is their circumference. So the circumference is the distance around the outer edge of a circle, and the trunk of a tree is basically a circle. Um, and so how you get that is, well, first you have to get a standard height above the ground that you're going to get your circumference. Because if you measure the circumference lower, it's going to be wider. If you measure it higher, it's going to be skinnier. So that standard height above the ground is four and a half feet. And there's a long story about how that got um, decided upon, but in, is, uh, in forestry we call that the breast height. Four and a half feet, because when foresters would take their built more stick, walk up to a tree and measure its width, it'd be the DBH or diameter at breast height. But for this activity, I'm just showing you how to get the circumference. But we are going to measure it at four and a half feet. So four and a half feet, I measured it, it's about right there. Take your twine, wrap it around the tree. See where the end of the twine kind of crosses? And then pinch it. Then come over to your tape measure and put the end of the twine on zero and put where you pinched it right there. And it looks to be that our circumference of this tree is about 40 inches. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you how to measure is the height of a tree. So you could put on your climbing spikes, climb to the top of the tree to get the height but you know, most teachers don't have climbing spikes and are able to do that. So we're gonna have to use some math and take some measurements to estimate this tree's height. One of the ways that the guide shows you how to do that is by using the shadow method. Uh, in this method, use some math to solve a ratio comparison. You're comparing the height of a person and the length of their shadow to the height of the tree and the length of the tree's shadow. So to do that, you have to measure the person's height and then measure the length of the person's shadow. That's one side of the comparison. And then you measure the length of the shadow of the tree. You don't know the height of the tree, but you do some cross multiplying, solve that ratio comparison to get the height of the tree. So the other way that the activity, how big is your tree, talks about how to get the height of the tree, which is an unknown, is using the ruler method. Now I would use a ruler if I was trying to measure the height of a shorter tree, but for the tree that we're trying to measure today, it's kind of a taller one, so I'm going to use a yardstick here, 36 inches. So the way that you do this is, is this. So you get a, one of your students, and I have a student over there standing next to the tree. That's my daughter. And I take my yardstick and I put the bottom of the yardstick at the bottom of the tree where my daughter's feet are. And then I back up until the top of the yardstick is at the top of the tree. So the top of the tree is at 36 inches on the yardstick when I look at it. And then I look at the top of my daughter's head and the top of my daughter's head on the scale is about three inches when I look at it. 
So we know that the height of the tree on the scale is 36 and the height of my daughter's head is three inches. So you take 36, divide it by three, and you get 12. So that's your multiplying factor. Okay, so the next step to calculate the height of the tree is to use that multiplication factor that we had of 12. So what you do, you have your student, and you measure your student's total height. And Kate right here is 59 inches tall. So you take 59, multiply that by 12, and what do you get, Kate? 708. And if you converted that into feet, that would be 59 feet. Wow, that's pretty good. 59 feet tall. All right, so the last tree measurement that I'm show, gonna show you how to get is the crown spread. So the crown spread is the distance that the branches spread away from the trunk. And that can be different depending on which side of the tree you're looking at. So you have to get an average measurement. You have to take one measurement going across from one side to one side, and then you have to get a second measurement kind of rotating 90 degrees and getting a measurement from another side to another side. It's illustrated in illustrations uh, three and four and the how big is your tree activity. Okay, so you're gonna be getting two straight line measurements to measure that crown spread. Point A to point B, point C to point D. So we already did point A to point B and that was 35 feet. So I'm going to show you now, we're going to measure point C to point D. So I'm going to walk over. Uh, my partner here is standing right above where the branches come all the way out. She kind of looks up and we have her standing there. Take my tape measure. And I pull it across through right by the, the tree, right by the trunk. Now I'm to the end of my tape measure, I'm to 30 feet, but I'm not that to the end of the branches. So I'd have my partner come on over. Okay. Just stand right where I am. There you go. And then I'm gonna continue walking back. edge. I got about seven feet here. So 30 plus 7, 37 feet is our measurement from this side. So now I'm going to show you how to do the math and how to calculate the average crown spread. So to calculate the average crown spread of our example tree, we took the distance from A to B, which was 35 feet, added it to the distance from C to D, which is 37 feet, and divided it by two to get an average crown spread of 36 feet. You may wonder if that big tree that you found could be the biggest one of its species. You can check to see how your tree measures up to champion trees in the National Register. These trees are the biggest of their species as reported to American forests in the most current year. The formula American Forests uses to determine champions is to add the tree's circumference, height, and one quarter of its crown spread to get a total point value. Our example tree was a post oak and it scored a 108 using the formula. In comparison, the national champion post oak in Cherokee, Alabama had a circumference of 255 inches, a height of 95 feet, and a crown spread of 122 feet, and it scored 381 points. Our tree has a way to go to dethrone this champion. I hope this video helps you understand how to lead the How Big Is Your Tree PLT activity better. Thanks for watching.